Hi, this is Beth Perry from the Mercer University Library, and today I wanted to show you what I think is a, a good way to use the ebooks that are required texts for your class. So, first thing, you want to start at the library's homepage, libraries.mercer.edu. And we're going to go down to the search box here. Um, this is discovery and it searches everything. But since we know we want a book, I'm going to go over here to the drop down menu and select books. And then we're going to put in our title. And today we're going to look for Soul Feast and search. Okay, so here are our results. Um, we've got, um, there are two uh, online version, two, it's the same thing, but anyway, I'm gonna click here. All right, it says it's available online, uh, full text availability from eBook Central, which is one of the uh, platforms that we have for our eBooks. So you'll probably see this a lot. All right, so here we are. Um, we've got some options at this point. Um, if you wanted to download just a PDF chapter, you have up to 83 pages um, a session. Um, you can also copy 42 pages. Um, you can go down and look at the table of contents here. This will show the subsections so you get the actual titles of the chapters down here. Um, you can download the PDF here, but what I would recommend is just clicking on the title of the chapter because it'll give you a little more options for things you can do. One of which is you can search within the book here. Um, you've got options up here for a full download. That's for the full book. Um, you can print from here. Um, but what we want to do is do the chapter download as opposed to the whole book. So we click there and we get this choice um, here for citation style. And we are going to select Chicago Turabian Notes Bibliography because that is what the McAfee style guide is based on. Click continue. Then we'll open our PDF, which is down here. Okay, so there we have it. Um, again, you can print it from this at this point, or if you want to save it somewhere, you click on download and it opens up the save as box and you can change the file name and save it wherever you want and then just click on save and so one other thing I want to show you let me enlarge it so you can see that down at the bottom of the page you've got your citation information here um, so that's that's nice um, just in case you um, need to do a bibliography at some point. If it's just a chapter you're reading for class, you know, you don't need that, but just FYI. Okay, so let's go back here. All right, so that's um, downloading a chapter um, from the ProQuest eBook Central. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks a lot.